now where's it to go on well, night out today everybody this is jordan jones toad do you have a letter for me do you have a letter for the republic of jordan i welcome you back to the republic of jordan and my playthrough of super mario galaxy 2 for the nintendo wii wow 91 mushrooms that means why the 95 one-ups if you guys give me a favor and snap that like button for me i would really appreciate that um, as you can tell, the World 6 is going to be a lot easier for the Green Stars than World 5 was. Because Boom Boom Galaxy was terrible for the Green Stars. That was the worst Green Star ever in the game. The World 6 is not that bad. And let me know down in the comments below for question of the video, um, question of the video, um, what is your favorite thing about fall? I would love to know. Is it apples or is it pumpkin patches or is it corn mazes? Just let me know. Or is it the fall leaves. Just let me know in the comments below. For a question of the video, what is your favorite thing about fall? I'd love to know. We're gonna do the green stars of Melty Monster Galaxy. Excuse me. I'm glad we had 96 one ups. <laughs> Alright, so these green stars are pretty easy to get, except for the third one. The third one is kind of a tough one to get, I guess. It's just, you just have to know what to do or not. Because I know Melty Monster Galaxy is an easy galaxy. It knows a little bit more difficult than Melty Molten Galaxy in the first game. But it's still pretty easy. Here, you just have to use pull stars. Go from pull star to pull star. Okay, this is a, this is a little bit tricky to do, but it's not that difficult. This screen star is a little tricky to get. It's not hard by any means, it's just tricky. So it might take a couple tries. It might take a couple tries. Got this a little tricky. Oh, come on! Oh, the second one here is real. Alright, I don't even know the best strategy here, so it's going to take a couple of tries to do. <clears throat> this one's a tricky, this one's a little bit tricky. First of all, I have to do this, then have to do this. What? What? This is a lot more difficult than that one, but... a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I'm normally not that bad at it, you know? <sighs> I think that does it. There we go. <laughs> That was a little bit annoying, but it wasn't difficult, like I said, but it did take a couple tries. It was kind of tricky to get, but it wasn't that difficult by any means, but 
I know the second one's really easy to get. And that one, the second one's a cake walk to get. Okay. Okay, green star number two. The second green star of this galaxy. Just, I'm just using those four stars. It's really not that hard at all. Careful not to die. And just do that. Take it nice and easy. Very easy. Easy. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Alright, and Star here is, is really annoying to get because of a, that bed on the stroll down rolling lane. Stroll down rolling lane isn't even that difficult of level, it's just that third green star that's really hard to get. Because it requires really precise timing and it takes a little bit to get used to the Rock Mario controls too. So hopefully we can go through here. No death. Hopefully we can go through here without dying. I ain't gonna worry about Stargate farming too much the rest of the playthrough because we already have the amount of Stargate that we need. Guess what? We don't even need to involve, worry about the checkpoint because we're guaranteed not to die. That's how easy this great star is. I can do this one blindfolded. I can do this great star blindfolded. I'm not even kidding. This one's really easy. This one's unbelievably easy. Anybody can get this green star. I messed up a little bit. And there we go. Now we're going for the annoying one, which is the one for Stroll Down Row and Lane. <clears throat> After that, we'll call it pretty much a wrap for the for this video. <clears throat> okay, so excuse me. All right. This one can be pretty tough. I'm gonna be quiet while I do this one. I'm not gonna commentate at all because it requires more concentration than the other ones. <sighs> so we're just gonna be quiet here. I ain't gonna worry too much on star bits because I'll play it while I see right here just, just for the fun. But still. This green star can be really difficult to get. It's a really difficult one to get. 
So it definitely might take a couple tries. Depends on how things go. This is a good level to play get Lost Star Bits, keep in mind. But it's also a very tedious level because of the tedious power of what it's used. Probably not going to commentate too much. But maybe the level really isn't that hard. It's just, it's just tedious, that's all it is. That's what makes it so tedious, is because the Rock Mario controls are so imprecise. And I've died several times because of that. That's why this level's annoying. That's why this level's tedious, is because of the, the stupid power ups. Let me know down in the comments below. If, have, you, if, have you ever had trouble with a stroll down Raw One Line? Is it difficult for you, or is it relatively easy for you? Just let me know in the comments below. Just say if you ever had trouble with this one in the past. Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? It's gonna be quiet here, I'm not gonna commentate at all. I really hate getting this green star off the I'm struggling a little bit with it. Controls are so imprecise. That is what sucks about this level. I can never get that green star perfectly. I can never time that perfectly to get that star. I lucked out. And I got it. Woohoo! You cannot believe how many tries that took. But... That in itself was annoying. We have 99 lives. Wow. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. And have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.